Here's some tips for editing your video clips in WeVideo. Now, if you're using stock media, um, in our school district, we have the paid version. And so all of these uh, video clips come with um, the program. So you can search for a B-roll uh, video clip. Uh, and I searched birthdays because mine is about 11 by Sandra Cisneros. Uh, and there's a whole bunch I can choose from here. But I have also selected favorites. As I've gone through, uh, I've um, clicked the heart in the corner. So it kind of captures some of my favorite video clips. So you can tell how long these video clips are in the corners. Um, they'll show um, exactly how long they are. If they don't have a time limit there, that means it's an image. I think I have all videos favorited. So I'm going to bring this one down. You can see it was the last video clip I had used um, here in this section. And you can see it's really actually a very long clip. If I scroll all the way out, it went this far and I really didn't want it to be that long. So if I, um, if it's unselected, uh, there's no orange around it. If I select it, it's orange. And I just go to the edge where I see the double arrow and drag it in as long as I want it to be. Um, and I can make it as short as I want or as long as I want. Let me get that one out and um, show you from this one that I already had in there. One other tip to this is down in the bottom right corner, there's a little blue dot and it really expands your track. So watch this. If I move it just slightly, look how much my uh, video is now expanded uh, so that it everything is really easy to um, get in and maneuver to the you know, to the millisecond. Um, but that can also be really frustrating when you're trying to work um, as well because it's so long to scroll so far. So you can move that. If I put it all the way in compact, um, I really can't see any of my video clips there. Uh, and it's much shorter area to work in. So I'm going to move it just a little bit out so we can see what we're doing here. So if I want to um, uh, change this at all, I can double click on it and there's a whole bunch of options in here and you can explore these options and try it out with this clip. One I want, wanted to really show you is uh, in iMovie, if you've ever used the Ken Burns effect, this is similar to that. So if I want to start the video uh, like this um, with the view uh, this big, um, I can do that. If I want to zoom in on a on an aspect of the video, um, I can click end and then click um, drag the scale. And so the video will slowly um, close in. And so we can try it out and see what it looks like. And so we'll just zoom in on that image somewhere that I'd like. So you can always uh, move that around um, however you like, you can adjust it. Uh, when you're done, just click save changes and then it'll be like that in your video clip. So it'll have that nice zoom effect to it. Just a little touch that changes a little. Now, let's say you have um, added uh, from your media uh, a video clip that you've been outside uh, videotaping. So thanks to my uh, volunteers here, I'm going to share a video clip um, from some students uh, that I was working with. And as I bring their video clip in, I want to share with you how they can trim this off. So as I go through this, hey, have you seen the new you'll friend? notice that there's a lot of kids yeah, around. Have you seen the new it's loud. <laughs> and they start cracking up. They feel like they messed up. Don't stop videoing. Keep going. Now, you could do your whole video in one take, meaning you just push record and you've got one long video clip. I tend to like to do it in little chunks, little 30 second chunks, and then you can export that to your drive, your videos, uh, or you can do it in one long chunk. It just takes a little bit longer. If you have it in little clips, you can drag them in one at a time, uh, but you also, it's really easy to trim this down. So if I wanted to um, clip off uh, where they had been laughing, I can drag it in and stop right there. And then that part is taken off. And so what you can always do, if they had continued, I could bring that clip back down again. And instead of the whole clip, I can drag from the front all the way to the end of the video and then add that on. Another way to do it is you can take the same video clip and you can use the scissor and you can trim it. And now you've got two separate pieces to the video. And you can start to divide up your video in little um, uh, little 
parts so that maybe there was a part in the in the middle here you needed to delete and then you can drag that part in and then just start rearranging so a couple different ways uh, you can use the scissor on the video to trim it uh, and clip it and then edit in the middle or you can use um, the edges click on that edge and drag it in or click on this edge and drag it in